Thank you, Leanne and Mr. Carl mm. Wastey. So a lot to look forward to on SABC. But uh, here's one more. So Joe Dawson and Barry Armitage embarked on an epic journey on horseback from Port Natal to Grahamstown, retracing the, horse, uh, the hoof prints of Dick King's historic ride, covering 960 kilometers in just 10 days. Now, this whole expedition, expedition was filmed and it is currently screened on SABC3 as a six-part series. And uh, Barry joins us this morning to give us a sneak peek into tonight's episode and also to tell us about a brand new adventure that they are taking on. Good morning, Barry. How are you Hi. doing, man? Yeah, good. Thank you. Nice to have you back. I know we in, had you on a little bit earlier, yes. but lots have happened in between. A lot, yes. <laughs> um, the four weeks that uh, the series has been screening uh, has been yeah, very interesting, had a lot of feedback. Uh, yeah. Most of it's been very good um, and uh, yeah, overwhelming really. Yeah. Um, and there have been some people uh, who've been concerned about the welfare of the horses, um, but um, you know, we, we, the, ch the, the boys finished sound, happy, yeah. healthy, and uh, they're currently on a farm in, uh, in the Eastern nice. Cape and they're strong. And how are you guys feeling? Good, good. Actually, I've got a few niggles, but um, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Right, so, so quickly give us a sneak peek into tonight's episode five yes, going out. Yes, um, well, we've been through a bit of a torrid time, um, yeah. uh, crossing the Bashi River. Uh, yeah, we were really at a low ebb. Um, and not to give too much away, but things start getting a little bit better in tonight's episode. All right. yeah. Tell me about some of the challenges that you face. And, and, you know, going through this whole trip, I mean, what was the challenge, most challenging thing to date? Um, it, I, I always come back to it. I think that the, the crossing of, of the Mtata River, um, it was dark, uh, the, the river was, was flooding, and to get over that, you know, we were completely outside of our, our comfort zone, and to make yourself mm. um, do something that your your brain is just screaming out for you not to do yeah. and, and then to, to to get a to achieve it to get across that river and come out the other side yeah. um, is a massive uh, a, a, a massive yeah. rush yeah. but I'm sure mentally as well I mean you guys needed to be seriously prepared because it does put you through a mental challenge yes as well. it, um, you know we had set ourselves up to do this thing and um, I don't think we gave ourselves the option of, mm. um, of not succeeding, although at times it felt like we wouldn't yeah. succeed. But it must have been amazing going through the same route that Dick King yeah. went you know, back yeah. in the day, but with more challenges, I think, because obviously now there's buildings and there's fences and borders and whatnot. Well, you know, our challenges were different to his. We had, as you say, buildings, um, yeah. there were roads um, in the way, um, but we did have a backup crew. Um, and that did help us. And when we got into trouble, they were there to, <laughs> to help us and the horses yeah. out. Uh, he didn't have that. He was man alone after yeah. the first two days. So, so, so let's talk quickly about um, your new adventure. You are going from KwaZulu Natal to Cape Town yes. on horseback. What is that all about? Um, the whole concept of the ride started with me needing to get my horses from KwaZulu Natal to Cape Town. And we had a bit of a, Joe and I had a bit of a break in, in what we've got on. So we thought it was a good time to go back to that original uh, mm. thing that the ride came from. So we're riding our four horses from Quizzle Intel to Cape Town. We're riding slowly, and we're going to raise um, yeah. the money for charity along the way. So this is not going to be filmed? No. All right, so, so you are literally throwing yourself at the mercy of South African citizens. Yes. All right, so is there any way that they can track you through the, throughout this, uh, this ride? They can. They can uh, through the website, um, which is theride.co.za. Um, they can get our Facebook and Twitter details, yeah. and we will be giving a constant feed of information and pictures from the road. That's fantastic. Yeah. All right, and also, I mean, people can get on the website information on on the ride, and also that you are supporting a couple of charities through Correct. through yes. All right, so people can find that. Barry, thank you so much. Really appreciate Thanks. it. All the best, eh? It's going to be very one much. serious, serious. Uh, <laughs> wow, the ride, the ride. So check out the Facebook. If they come to your town, support them. They will be there. And also check out the ride tonight, eight o'clock on SABC3. Don't miss that exciting, exciting stuff. Over to the rest of the team. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.